Good morning, traders. Well, Asian indexes are, are looking to open flat, uh, mirroring the lead they've got from Wall Street uh, overnight. Weak data out of the US uh, with unemployment claims, uh, having their worst read in two years, and industrial production having its biggest year-on-year -year decline uh, since the COVID lockdown. So that threw some cold water on the, uh, the US economic strength narrative and saw a, a choppy session in US equities that ultimately went nowhere. There were some big moves in other markets, though. We'll look at gold, which rallied over 1%, uh, breaking through all resistance there at 1962 and continuing this week's uh, pretty strong bounce off that 200-day moving average. Uh, XAU USD settling at around 1980 US dollars an ounce. Um, the next obvious resistance there to the upside being the November highs at 2004. And the, another good sign for the gold bulls was that the US dollar was flat on the session. So this move high seems solely based on haven flows and technicals. Uh, the other big moving market was oil, which plunged over 5%, uh, hit a 72 handle before retracing modestly to sell just above 73 US dollars a barrel. Uh, today was one of the, the top five worst days this year for crude, um, hitting its lowest level since July, breaking all support levels on the chart. The next obvious one really looks like that major support at 67 US dollars a barrel. Uh, today's economic announcement is pretty quiet on the calendar. The only real tier one release will be UK retail sales.